Hello, this is Cotton Soups, and welcome back to another Gaming Legacy H2C video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Leviatros. Leviatros is one of the other titans that has released in Lumi Legacy's UMB update. So we're going to be talking about how to use encounter Leviatros. From the counters and checks in teammates, you'll need to know in order to know how to team build around it, as well as knowing the roles and sets in order to know how to use it in your battle. Today's video is all about how to use encounter Leviatros. So the role that Leviatros is going to be playing is all dependent on its base stats. First off, you want to know about Leviatros is that it's not going to want to take any hit no matter if it's neutral or super effectively. The best type of hits you can swap in on are fire type and water type hits and ice type hits, stuff you resist, but other than that, you should never want to swap into the battle. Then we have energy and range attack of 90 and 85 respectively. Their range attack is not that bad, however, this is still on par with the likes of Gobidemic, so you are not gonna be hitting hard at all. However, your energy of 90 lets you have some pretty good move pulls and move choices to use. Then your HP of 115, 100 of melee attack, and then speed tier of 150 is very good. This speed tier pretty much outspeeds almost everything in the game base stat wise besides your golem speed if I recall, so that gives you a good idea of how much you outspeed. And your HP of 115 lets you get up to as much HP as possible with your melee attack letting you hit decently hard. Not the best, but this melee attack is still somewhat useful. So the main way you want to use Leviatros is that it's going to be a cleaner revenge killer with the potential to set up with and sweep. It has very minimal setup potential because of how frail it is, but if you can manage to get a prediction off by the opponent swapping out, you getting a free bulk up, something like that, then you can easily start doing a lot of damage. You are going to be a cleaner revenge killer due to your speed tier, and that's pretty much what Leviatros is going to be doing in your matches. So the cleaner set is the set that I would recommend for Leviatros. Its ability is going to be waterborne to increase its stab damage. You can run its SA, however, yeah, it, yeah, you can just run its SA if you really want to. However, this is mainly going to be used on a lot of future rain teams as well as mono teams using expert assault. Your personality is going to be brawny so you can hit as hard as possible and you outspeed a lot of stuff anyway. I'll get to that into the TPs and then your moveset. Your wave wrecker is going to be your main water stab if you are not running water types with this. However, Expert Onslaught is going to be your other water option. Mega Chomp and Primal Slash, they're your other coverage options. Mega Chomp, I would really run to hit the, the plant types and the light types. Primal Slash can be run if you want to chip up Citrigon and your snack harder. However, if you do not want to, then Hypnotize is fine. And Bulk Up is fine as a last move. You're not going to be clicking this a lot, but this will allow you to get some predictions off and increase your bulk in case you find the opponent swapping, giving you time to set up. Then your item is going to be the Water Essence. Health Amulet is also somewhat recommended, however, Health Amulet is much better on another teammate. And then your TPs. You can run Nimble, and you can run 168 speed with Nimble to outspeed very smart boots land torches. If the land torch is Nimble, then you cannot outspeed it, obviously. This also outspeeds very nimble and very nimble Zulongs and Gopidemics. While your energy here is for TPs, getting up to 250 energy, which is pretty solid for your moveset. And then 200 melee attack and 200 HP are your leftovers, while your range defense of 8 allows you to get up just one more point from your melee defense, so Protagon won't get a melee attack increase, or it will get a melee attack increase instead of a range attacking one. Rogan doesn't really show up a lot, but it's might as well just prepare for it, especially with extra training points. So the counters and checks is another simple option. First thing you want to know here is that Totab and Ikazune, these are probably the only boots users that can actually outspeed it. Of course, anything that's using boots above the speed tier, like Zulong, which is admittedly not that great, can also outspeed it. If you do not want to run these, then but checking it defensively is very good. A lot of these guys that I've mentioned here all counter it very well. They, like it, Leviathan doesn't even do enough damage to threaten these Lumians. Even with Obsidragon being weak to Primal, it does not do enough damage. 
So your main source of damage is going to be from Onslaught, but these guys just tank it very well. Speaking of Onslaught, here are some Leviatross teams. This is one of the only Titans that I would really recommend you using the Onslaught, not because it's very good, but because Onslaught teams are pretty solid for Leviatross as a lot of water types are good in this game and fill a lot of niches and Leviatross really needs that damage. First off, this is some sort of concept for a future weather team. Deladrix is getting the weather setting ability as per all of the weather Lumians. So you can use Deladrix to lead with the weather and then of course get that damage boost. Then you can have Deladrix, Luminami, and Leviatross boosting Onslaught to 125 base power. On top of the weather boosts, it does make a very great difference. So Burst Crack, Aloha, Luminami, Lashent, they all play very good supportive roles. Lashent fades it away in, it can also slap down items, and Ambush does a lot of damage anyway. It also stops a lot of dark types and spirit types from sweeping the team. Luminami basically tear, take care of a, what is left. Lashen also checks Tatab and Solbris Krakaloa here is mainly for the likes of Hunter. Valkyrie here is mainly for Glashadia and providing Radiant Forecast support for the team. And then Gargoyle in Defense is just here for the hazard removal and hazard setting. You can also run Burn Up on Solbris Krakaloa as well. And then for Deladrix here, Deladrix, as I said, is going to be your has a rain setter in the future however it will just be playing a boots supportive role boosting onslaught another version of this team is right here you see some returning faces such as deladrix lashent and falkyrie however sober's Krakaloa is replaced for seer knight so you're not always forced to bring falkyrie in your battles in case you want to try and stop um in case you want to try and stop with Shadia. It also has a lot of better matchups, specifically terrifying Seer Knight against the likes of Nevermare and Chienta. Your snack here is here just for providing offensive pivoting and then bringing these offensive Lumions in. Also, it has Slapdown, it's a slow pivoter, mainly here to stop the likes of Tatab. And then Cleone here is going to be used instead of uh, Luminami, providing hazard removal and pivoting with Dissipate. Also helps our team a little bit better against Soul Burst Eruptodon, even though we have a lot of Hellstorm swap-ins. So that is pretty much it for Leviatross. I personally think that this thing is not going to be too great right now because there are a lot of quite a lot of weaknesses and drawbacks joining water-based teams. While they can definitely work, they're still very weak to a lot of plant types in this metagame, such as Lashent, Tatab, Nevermare. They also get taken quite advantage of by just anything that can just swap into their water type attacks. They're also mostly Dokomori food, and if you're forced to run certain Lumians to support one Lumion, especially if they're to the tape the same type synergy then you're gonna obviously have less matchups for your team so i think that leviatross is certainly going to be an interesting lumion definitely not something worth ban worthy so like and subscribe if you want to see more of these type of content i will be making more videos on the new umb lumions and this is Conan stoops signing off to remind you that zulong is still a dumpster fire